Hello everyone, Martina here from Small Business Bliss. Now everyone now is talking about the new changes to the design of Facebook business pages. So I thought I'd just do this quick little video to show visually what's going on and what this is going to mean for your business. Let's kind of work our way from left to right here. So the biggest change on the sidebar or on the left here is that now your navigation rather than being up at the top of the page is on the left here and then you can see what's missing is that little area where you were able to give a little description of what your page is about where I had uh, my website link for example so that's all gone now. The other change you can see here too is that you no longer have the pictures of the people that like your page. And then moving down, we no longer have favorite pages, but now they're considered likes because you're now able to interact with Facebook as your page rather than just as yourself as a person. Now moving to the center here, Right at the top is an exciting change. Now this is your category, and it used to be that you were not able to change that. So whatever it is that you chose when you set up your page was it. The only way to change it was basically to delete and start again. So it is very exciting that you can make that change now if you're not happy with what you originally put there. Now I think this is probably the most contentious change, which is this photo bar. This is very similar to what we have on our personal profiles, but now we're seeing it on business pages. Now, for some businesses, this is not a big deal. If you sell a product, for example, having product shops up here makes perfect sense. Or if you offer a service that has a tangible sort of visual thing that you can show, again, no problem, you can add that stuff in. But the issue is for businesses that offer a service that, that isn't tangible, isn't something that you can show, and I'm the perfect example of that. So for me, it was a little bit of a struggle to figure out what to put up at the top here. So what I ended up doing was just, you know, putting in a couple of versions of my logo and some white space. Now, originally, and I spent an embarrassing amount of time trying to figure this out, I wanted to actually get something written here that went in line. I was actually going to put um, the name of my blog, which is Small Business Bliss. I thought it would be really nice to have, you know, Small Business Bliss. Now, unfortunately, and I don't really know um, what's going on, but you'll notice if I just kind of move around that those images don't stay in order. They're constantly moving around. So you have to be careful about what you put up there. And unfortunately, you cannot put a phrase. Now, I don't remember in my personal profile that those photos would change. I think that they always stay in the same order. So maybe this is something that Facebook will work on and change so that hopefully we can, we can get some, some phrases up there if we want or some words. So that's the biggest area that you're going to have to think about. Um, another major change is the wall. Now, normally, of course, it would be in chronological order. So whatever you put up, the most recently would be what's on the top. And to me, that makes sense. That's what I look for when I go to a page. But that has now changed as well. Um, if I click on everyone here, this is no longer in chronological order. Everything's kind of mixed up in, in different order, which I, I find very strange personally. Um, but what I'm finding though is if I click only on what I have posted, this is still in chronological order. So it's a little bit strange. Again, this is probably something that we might see change as, as Facebook kind of puts the finishing touches on this new design. And then otherwise, um, on the right, the area to notice is this part right here. So you can see it says use Facebook as Martina. So that would be me as a person, as my personal profile. So I can click there and as you can see, things will change a little bit. And then I can switch back if I want to use it as my page. So that's pretty much it in terms of the major visual changes. I do recommend to pop into the edit section as there are some changes in terms of what you can adjust. So I would recommend just to kind of go through that and make sure that everything's set up as you like. So there you have it. Those are the changes to the design of the Facebook business pages.